welcome to the vlog. Okay, today we have a matcha latte um, with matcha powder from Costco. Oh, that's very much in the way. Um, I've been making these hanging plants recently. I'm also watching The Perfect Match with um, all the social media people. Anyway, I've been making these hanging plants recently and this is supposed to be a string of pearls but those are the biggest freaking pearls I've ever seen, man. I don't even know what that is. I followed a YouTube tutorial to learn that. Um, I will post a picture of the thumbnail of what to search for that there somewhere on the screen but I also um, made this beautiful girl. Oh, she's beautiful. Wow. And it's in a terracotta pot, but it honestly it just comes out like that. And it's pretty lumpy because I was experimenting with what kind of pattern to use for that. Um, the ones in here, the girl used green at the bottom, but I used brown instead. But it's basically just this is one piece, and then that little circle in there is one piece, and this is just hot glued on top. So I kind of, I don't know, I didn't want to crochet a pot for this one, especially because I know since these leaves are going to be very heavy, I don't know if the pot will support it properly. And thus we have this. It, it needs a little bit of work. I'm also out of my scrap yarn because I've just stuffed all three of these. Um, but this one, I use the same pot design. But the crochet pattern for this is by Stitch and Flick. Yeah, I want to make. Oh my gosh. I want to make a Vapelia, but then have some of these frog, frog heads. And then I also want to make like a better, a different vining plant with more leaf looking appendages instead of the pearls. Oh my god, the wind is going crazy right now. And then mm, that way I can put little forget me not flowers on it. I think like white and pink. And I also want to make that string of lights thing that I talked about. So maybe I will do that. But I also have two custom orders that I have to make by this weekend. Oh, so that was so nice. I thought I would open the window, but it's kind of too crazy. Um, but yeah, I also went to Dollarama and I picked up these felt bowls. It's $1.75 for however much that is. Um, but I went, I looked at, in, at Michael's and they don't have any punch needling things in stock. So that's gonna have to wait until I ordered some stuff from Amazon instead. So I'll have to wait till that gets here. But for now, I want to try making Matelia. Maybe the string lights and whatever the other thing I said was. Okay, this is what I've made so far. I have these little magic circles, increase, and then single crochet one, increase. These are just six single crochet in the magic circle with um, increase. These ones were six to start two. And I don't really know how many I want to make, but I'm out of this green yarn that I had. So I'm thinking I might make a couple in another shade of green and just space them out on the table like this. This feels too sparse for sure, but I'll make a couple more. But I think these are good sizes. I don't know, I might make one big one just to compare. This is what I got. I'm gonna try putting it together. Actually, I need to make the little dirt ball first. With this super nasty looking yarn because I rolled it up into like one of these and look, look at this. What is this? It's just like completely tangled in on itself and the yarn is like really, I don't know, I bought this. Like I bought a lot of yarn from one person on Kijiji 
and this yarn is like super curly like I think it was made into something and then frogged and now it's like super tangle prone so this is gonna, I hate using this but I don't want to waste it so here we go dirt ball I have my little dirt ball thing and I have my little petals here on the table from here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I have these little wire floral stamps that I bought on Amazon and they kind of have like I think like a hundred a hundred for like 16 bucks Canadian or something like that. And these are a little too long but I imagine this little this little you know little Thing. I think maybe like a third of this or half of this. Obviously, I want different lengths so it doesn't <laughs> just appear in a row here. But I'm gonna like hold them up and see approximately where I want them and like alternate the colors a little bit and the sizes. I don't know if I feel, oh my gosh, I don't know if you can hear April sneezing <laughs> in her sleep. Right there, right there. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and then what I'm gonna do is the same as I did with this Monstera, is I just stick everything into the center here. This is a little ratchet, because it's the first one I made, but I put a little bit too much hot glue here, and there was a giant blob of hot glue, and it's all white and very not cute. So I covered it with a little bit of brown yarn, as you can see here. I'm gonna do that again. Um, but yeah, this just, I didn't measure this at all and it just turned out the perfect size. I don't know if it's because it's squishy. Actually, let me compare. This is the one I made. Like, this is kind of big. Man. Actually, if I squish it in, it's perfect. But once I put the actual Pelia in there, it's going to be hard to squish in there. So I think I just have to form the stuffing a little bit. <laughs> Dirt ball. Like that. Ugh. Squish that in there. So yeah, I also need. I only have this one pot from for actual plants, and the other one I have is like kind of nasty. I use this one too. You can see like there's like some stains and stuff, but it's more realistic. So whatever. But yeah, that's perfect. I think I did one too many increased rows on this one, um, which is fine. I'm still figuring out a pattern for everything. Uh, it's kind of dirty. Some, like the glue gun bits but anyway I'm gonna do that and we'll see what it looks like once I assemble it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you I took that green stem and I cut it into these little pieces and what I did was I bent the, the tip of it. Oh man okay I guess I'll take it out. This is what it looks like and then I literally just stick it into the top two stitches at the top of the leaf here and then I will glue it to secure it but if I squish it a little bit Ta -da! Little you know what you know I was thinking about is that Pelias at the top, first of all, when I make a magic circle like this, the circle bit is in the middle. But if you look at like a picture of a Pelia, they they have like a little circle at the top here and a little bit of yellow that kind of radiates out from the spot. So I took a tiny bit of yellow thread, uh, yarn. Hmm, maybe I should use the red. So I kind of rolled it up and I put it right there. This isn't gonna stand like a little bit, but I was like, oh I'll just do it like like that, but that was really not cohesive. Especially because it's all right there. So I'm thinking maybe I could take like a fabric marker or something, but I still think that it will look weird because there's a giant circle here. Like I can tie that tighter, tighten my magic ring, but there will, it, the pattern radiates from there, so it's gonna look weird if I put it on right there. So I don't know, I have some felt, so I might try using that, but we'll see, we'll see. Yay. Oh my god. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. This is my Kelia. Again, I only have one pot. I'm just welcome to my unpotting, my plant repotting video. Um, again, I ran into the same problem where you can see there's a little lump of glue. So, I think what I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna bunch these all together, kind of in the shape that I want, and then I will glue like that together and then stick it in so that the glue is under the yarn instead of sitting on top of it. But, 
oh my god it's like i completely forgot about the frog part i was gonna make one of these like a frog face i think that'd be really cute i might do that with felt after to be honest i just bought like this felt and some more felt from dollarama and i'm just really excited to use it so i just dropped dog treats okay no she didn't um so yeah but this is my pelia plant i think i used one two three four five six seven eight nine leaves I think that's an okay number. I think I could do more big ones, or at least put the big ones maybe a little bit low. Because this area here, underneath, is a little sparse. But also, if you put it on the table, <laughs> and you just look at it there, I think it looks okay. I don't know. Anyway. Plant adventures. I really need more pots. It is now several hours later. Evidence. Evidence. But I have these lights that I got from Dollarama about 300 billion years ago. And I found some batteries for them. Oh my god, it's gonna be so cute. So I'm deciding if I want to do Lily of the Valley plants or forget me not but I think I'm gonna try one of each and see how it goes so I will try one of each and then I'll get back to you this is just gonna be like a whole bunch of cuts oh my god it's so cute look at the light oh it's so cute at the bottom but yeah I don't I, I'm still filming these on my phone and my phone storage is just absolutely trash so <laughs> well, welcome to many small clip videos but okay I'm gonna try this and then I'll get back to you okay so I got these three very cute colors and I tried with the Forget Me Not to start, which looks like this. Uh, it's Magic Circle with some other petals. So everything has to be Magic Circle. I can't put it in my opinion because that way I can stick the light through this little hole here. That's my light here, for example. Stick my light through here, and then when you pull the Titan, the Magic Circle, it will stick in place. So I'm not going to do that yet because I don't like this. Okay, I just feel like it's not really emphasizing like I don't know I don't really like it. I imagine it looks big I don't know okay anyway also you see this so I made the Lily of the Valley this one kind of bulky like this this kind of a big chunky boy look at that that's kind of a chunky Lily of, <laughs> Lily of the Valley but I also wanted it to be kind of bigger but again same thing magic circle in the middle so I'll pull the Titan the Titan bat around stick this in up to here <laughs> And then tighten it so that it's stuck there. Here, there, whatever. And then, oh no, I tightened it a little bit already and then I pulled it off. Okay. But I like that when you put it in, the whole thing glows. Versus like in this one, it's just sticking at the top, which is. Annoying. But oh, it's so bright in the thing. I can't like change the brightness because it's Dollarama, but I think it's pretty cute. I finally finished it. Look at that! It's so cute! It's okay, hold on, hold on. Lights off. Oh, I guess I should. Okay, I put it in. Okay, it's hanging by these two hair clips. Hold on. Okay, it's hanging by these two hair clips because I am too lazy to use tape and they were already like all along this edge here. Oh, there's a hair. And I have this bag of like random more tote bags in here that I just put the battery pack in because it's a little bit heavy. It's like three AA batteries. But let's turn the light off. And there's also dog toys everywhere, do not mind. Ready? I have it on 0.5 so I can show. Wow, so cute. Wow, we did it. All the little flowers. Oh my god. Sorry, I saw my face in the camera and I wasn't expecting it. Wow, so cute. This one hangs right in the middle here. It is pretty bright, but it looks better in person. 
but it's so cute these little flowers oh my gosh and they're leds so they're not supposed to be a fire hazard not that i would ever have these on if i'm not in here i think it's literally in the closet the problem is that my desk is just way too messy right now like i constantly have a full table of stuff and um the shelf is a little full here i can also hang it like down this way but i don't know and i have a plant shelf over here still have to deal with this box of leftover stuff in the market um i could put it or kind of in a circle around the shelf here actually that might be cute i don't know but that's where it's going for now um and yeah we'll see we'll see i still want to make a couple more plant things which i think i'll stick in the same video but i think i'm done for today because i literally i made that technically today because it was at like 3 2 or 3 a.m i made this little plant oh i'm still on 0.5 there we go made that one that one today i also made this pelia plant which i think <laughs> oh my god i forgot you're just a dirt ball oh i need to go get i need to go go to oh my god you're getting into the real plant more terracotta pots like these ones. they usually have them at the dollar store i'm gonna see if i can like bulk order some from dollarama because i want to make a whole bunch like a little shelf full oh my god kind of like this little flower but then like a whole shelf of just crochet plants um and yeah that's it i'm watching the mole it's not very good but i ran out of episodes of the perfect match make a plant um i've decided you know there's those videos where people do like oh crochet with me for 24 hours i want to do that i can do that i crochet for 24 hours anyway you know i can do that but right now i want to show you how i make oh, bye -bye. Uh, this guy this crochet technically it's more of an adansonii which doesn't even grow like this which only bothers me a little bit because it doesn't really look like a monstera the leaves are a little too long um, and I mean it's not there, but it's not really shio stuff, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what kind of people? So I'm gonna make this. I literally don't have it in a pot because I need to go buy a pot. Three colors. I'm going to use this green. Oh my god, it's so messy on my desk. These two greens. And my tragic pile of brown. <laughs> I swear I spent three to one ratio of time um, untangling this to actually crocheting, but we are going to do that. Okay, I have my pattern written down. It's not finalized from where I want it to be, but there's still a couple changes that I want to make. Here's the pattern. My patterns, when I write them out, are so vague and so hard to, um, like, it's hard for another person to interpret what it means, I think. I've also never done, like, a pattern test or call on social media, so I should probably try doing that one. All the flowers that I made are pretty easy, but this one's, like, pretty complicated. Like, I just have, like, vague diagrams of, like, oh my god, I can't see what I'm showing you. Like, this vague, vague diagrams, which I feel like, I mean, I don't know. To me, like, making patterns is all that. Like, you either do a chain stitch or you do a circle. And then most plants are, can go either way. So with flowers, almost everything is a circle. Or it's a chain of something that you then roll into a circle. And then it's just about the assembly. Um, but for the most early leaf, it made sense to make a chain, start with chains, because it's not really circular. Also, I don't want that little hole in the middle. Um, because when you, you do a magic circle start, it always kind of, the pattern leads in the center, and inevitably your eye will be drawn to the center of it. I don't like it. Unless you do, like, it's uh, a plushie, because then it's a hole on the bottom, and you can't see it. So, I started with a chain, and then I discovered that if you do your chain, this is your chain. Oh, that's so light. Okay, this is your chain, and then you basically just chain and then insert it back into the loop and then you chain again and you insert it back into it that's like this is the worst drawing ever but that's kind of what i was thinking and then you you keep doing that and then what you do is you loop back into this pattern and you do like for the smaller ones you just do like singles and halves and then halves and doubles and then just more halves and doubles because triple is too big but the problem is once you get to the triple crochet it's like a little bit more loosey-goosey but then you go there you do the same thing on the other side and then that's basically a leaf because this is equivalent to this because then your holes stay as holes you know so if i show you this leaf do you see what i mean you these holes and you stitch straight into the hole okay all right does that make sense okay
Okay, so I made two in this dark green. And the two that I made in this light green, I made with a 5mm hook, and it's like, I don't know, it's a little loosey-goosey. You know what I mean? Oh, get off. Oh, get off. If you look here, there's like some spaces in between here that are a little too big, so the leaf looks a little too... Oh, yeah, that's really apparent right there, like especially along the spine of the leaf. But this one... Oh, actually, <laughs> maybe I should use an even smaller hook. See, like, this one's a lot better because there's no holes right here. This is, like, not tight enough. But if it's good here, I think I was just... My tension needs to be a little bit tighter there. This one, I use a 4.5 hook, I think, too. I just didn't write that down, so I didn't switch to one when I was making these ones. But let's try making one with all four of these leaves. Okay, I have my leaves. They are attached to their sticks. And I have my dirt. It's a little squishy. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here, all into the center of my magic circle. And it's going to be like, if I let go, it'll just like flop over, but once I glue gun it, It looks natural if it's like all kind of all over the place. So whatever works. Ooh, I kind of made them all the same height. But whatever. And then once I have it all in the right spot, I'm gonna put this up to my blue. Almost like right in the middle of the stems there. Just to make sure it's good. I don't know if I want to do that yet because then other people can arrange it how they like. But for now, just a little gluey bits. I cut off little bits of like the extraneous wire. And I'll unpot this guy again. And all right, here is the finished. Ta da! Here's the child. The other one is sleeping. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. 